So here is my son Joey. Say hi. Um, 12 years old. And we did stay up last night. He's the one that stayed up with me and watched The Walking Dead. So I just wanted to get um, my kids' reactions to Glenn's death. And that's pretty funny because I saw some pretty funny reactions on YouTube so far. So, so tell me, how do you feel about Glenn dying? Too sad to talk about. So, because uh, Glenn is actually Joey's favorite character. Mine, of course, was Rick for a long time, but I really don't have a favorite right now. But he was my favorite because he's so hot. But Ew. remember on Inside Out where the mom thinks in the bubbles of her, she no. tunes out the husband? No, better. And so then I, uh, so I tune him out and then I put Rick in place of Carlos, you know? <laughs> but he's not really a favorite of mine anymore since he lost his mind, but, but it is Joey's favorite. And last night we took it pretty hard. I really wish somebody had been taping us when we saw it at that moment because our reactions were uh, very uncandid, weren't they? Yes. So they pretty much were. Daughter Olivia, say hi, Olivia. Hi. And so we're also getting her reaction to Glenn's maybe or maybe not death on The Walking Dead. Now she did go to sleep before the show, however, my son Joey was so distressed by finding out that Glenn died that he actually went and told her last night uh, that he died. And then so I showed her clips um, from the scene where he falls in and we analyzed it. How many times? Like 12. 12 times to see if there's any way he, it could have been somebody else. It could have been Nicholas's body that they were munching on. Um, there was a scene though, Livy, that they showed where he was looking away from the dumpster. And they, uh, he unbuttons his shirt to show that he's wearing the same color shirt as Nicholas. So that I did notice as well. That's pretty crazy. So that's another one. So when he turns around and buttons the shirt, he is wearing a gray shirt just like Nicholas is. So it could or could not be. So what was your reaction to Glenn dying? I was like, what? Like, how could you take Glenn? Glenn is like almost a favorite for everybody. Mine is Daryl, honestly, but... Why is Daryl your favorite character of The Walking Dead? Because he's awesome, that's why. Well, what makes him awesome? So the and there comes the ball from the brother Alex. The way that he just shoots those arrows and comes up to the zombies and just goes... I told you last night already. You know, when Joey told me, I was just like, no, you're lying, you're lying. Glenn will never die. He, he can't. Why can't he die? Everybody, nobody's safe in a zombie apocalypse, Libby. I know, but he's been surviving since like the second episode. And he is a survivor, isn't he? He is. And, and as you know from the Talking Dead, he has not killed any human beings in this whole turmoil. Everyone has, except for him. And if he's dead, then they killed the nice guy. Why kill the nice guy? So, uh, Rick Nicotero and Scott Gimble, and Scott Gimble, my daughter is telling you why kill Glenn. Why kill the cute little Asian boy who is so nice to everyone, right? This is to you, the producer and the director. What's going on here? We need to have you change it if you kill them. Make them do some voodoo Rafiki move. <laughs> like, uh... Make them live. Like... Make them live. Like, um, what was it, the, the Rafiki move that, uh... God, I had a brain fart. Brain fart, and I do know his name. Um, gosh, why can't I think of his name? The, the, the black guy with the British accent. Yeah, he really does have a British accent too. It's so cute, I love it. What is his name? I watch it every week, there's no, Morgan. Morgan. Oh, you know how he does a Rafiki move like the Lion King, Wah! the one I like so much? I think he's going to pull one of those and we're going to see him. Because every time people think Morgan's dead, he always comes out being some kind of non-dead guy. He's still alive. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Last night on The Walking Dead, when Glenn died, uh, my reaction was actually such a surprise that um, I was so upset that Carlos is saying that he was making Juliet upset because she didn't like seeing me upset. She knows what's going on, but she actually got like, oh my God, what's wrong with my mommy? So that's pretty funny. Um, I really wish somebody had taped us our reaction because of course you don't see it coming. Nobody, you know, tapes you watching The Walking Dead. Now it would be fake, but last night was freaking hilarious to watch me and Joey. We were about to cry, literally.
pretty funny, but I don't think he's dead. Um, I don't think that there's a chance that he can get away from the walkers. Um, his only chance is going to be um, whether he got under the trash can while they were occupied with Nicholas's body. Uh, but that's kind of have yet to be seen. And the talking did, did kind of help say that they would close that out. So hopefully they do that. They are having a 90 minute episode on um, this coming's Walking Dead. So that should clear any uh, loose ends, especially with Rick being um, in trouble as well. Uh, but but let's hope for the best. I, I kind of was hoping, I know it sounds horrible, but I was hoping it was Carol rather than, than Glenn. Glenn's a good guy.